Hey, what's up guys? Hippo TC here and in today's video I'm going to show you all the things that you need to know about the sword We're going to do this a little bit of a different style One of the questions I get a lot on stream is hippo, you know, how do you do the sword lunge jump or how do you uh, Do various things. What's the best combination to do? Whatever what are the question is around the sword There's a lot of things to kind of talk about so that you're aware of it and so I invited my friends Green and Isaac in here. We're going to kind of just show you all the various things with the sword. And then if you have any questions, uh, make sure to drop them in the comments. You can always jump over to the stream and ask me over there. And I'll do my best to demonstrate. But the sword is one of the best weapons in the game. One of the most fun weapons in the game. And there's a lot to kind of talk about it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's very intimidating, as you guys can see, when two people come at you with a sword so we got isaac and green here let's first talk uh sword damage but first let's talk and say hello to these absolute legends what's up green what's up isaac thanks for helping me with this video you guys hello legends you absolute legandos if you fight these guys in the seas i would run okay if you ran into green or isaac i would run away me probably not but these guys intimidating yeah, <laughs> all right <laughs> let's talk uh let's talk sword so let's talk sword damage the so sword per one slice is 25 percent damage you get this cool little combo if you hit somebody three times uh even if they block it'll still kind of do the same thing so we'll have isaac block really quick so three hits will cause a knockback um if you hit the third hit it'll knock back the person but if he blocks the whole time i believe it'll knock you both back a little bit so yep. you kind of have this neat little combo with the sword it's very basic um but it it can be used uh in various things like you can na nail a three-hit combo and knock people off boats knock them off ladders whatever the case might be um the block when did the block get updated when was that it was a little little bit ago but the block is really yeah, yeah. really effective now it's not always yeah. perfect but um even the angle of you block so like isaac if you look at me and then don't move just block mm -hmm. it's like even like, it must be in front of my screen yeah and then... it's a very like they they updated the the radius of block and that's something i want to talk about too is like you if you get into a fight one of the things that people make a mistake on is they don't uh they don't block enough uh something to kind of consider like even if like i were to start attacking like isaac and then he starts blocking midway it's always the best to do that uh, so something with a sword that people often don't do is block so we've kind of covered damage 25 percent per slice if you hit the three it's 75 doesn't give you any extra bonus but it does give you that little knockback that you saw and then the lunge isaac do you want to demonstrate how much lunge it does i believe it's 60 percent damage yeah i think it's like 60 percent damage uh on that so the lunge is probably the most versatile thing of the of this sword what do you guys think like what's what's the thing you want to talk about for the sword lunge real quick because there's a lot there's a lot to cover that there's like movement that you can utilize there's uh the basics so like here actually i got a good one isaac you guys want to come over here maybe yeah. you both can show at the same time would be uh the difference between like blocking oh, yeah. first then lunging and then just normal lunging so there's two things uh that i talk about especially when it comes to the, the sword lunge most people will just lunge normal without blocking first uh so this is kind of the movement that you get with that i'll have isaac demonstrate that and then green if you want to block first and then lunge and then just move side to side uh to show how big of a difference the movement is so people can kind of see it and the importance this is why you want to block first is all i'm saying when you're lunging block first so you kind of have that movement with isaac where he wasn't blocking and then green blocking first then lunging keeps a lot of his momentum yeah. um when walking so this is what that looks like so this is me it's kind of like a walk and then when you block first it keeps a lot of it's almost like a normal walk when you block first kind of cool mm -hmm. but that can be utilized in a lot of ways to to kind of get around the lunge like was it death knight that was doing it the other way and then it, we showed him like the blocking yes. first that that made a game changer for him because it's hard to time the the jump like the uh the jump there um now you guys see me do often if you just do it the normal way but with the block there's almost even a little bit of grace if you miss the the shing noise you can kind of even jump after that noise and you still get that forward momentum that you guys see us do 
which is pretty cool sword lunge is the ultimate <laughs> the ultimate thing because you can use it in so many versatile ways like you know you've seen me green and isaac all do jumping from various heights into people's boats from distances i'm on board hold on i'm up top they don't know i'm just, i'm hiding right now okay to the point where mm -hmm. some people you know even see shadows and from great heights and stuff it's crazy um tell me what you want me to do get their anchor down uh i saw uh, shadow we might have somebody up top boys what once i loop out here i think so yeah but yeah so the sword there one thing too that uh i don't think people know is there is if you guys want to come demonstrate real quick for me uh there is like a player collision so as you see they are on the same crew and then they don't collide with them but since i am not on their crew i can't run through them so one thing that you'll see us do when it comes to sword is you can jump through somebody you might not be able to run through them but you can jump through them so a block jump gives you this little like uh i don't even know what would you call this thing it's a top little stop hop it's different yeah. than a regular jump it's a little it's like a more of a shallow jump and it's a little quicker in the uh you know the i don't even know what you'd call it like the horizontal movement <laughs> this horizontal yeah. jump like the regular jumps more vertical this is more horizontal jump so one thing with the sword too is movement man like i don't know about you guys but i would say like the reason i like the sword and the flintlock so much is it's a very um nimble kind of fighting style and the sword uh, offers a lot of uh mobility which is why a lot of people like it well i like it man because you can like we can yeah. sword lunge to things and um you can do various things like that but like even just the um the block jump is such a versatile tool um and especially when you're using it in the fight so like if isaac and i were or me and green were all fighting with a sword and they were sitting there blocking i would try to get behind them and then get behind their block and attack them that way because mm -hmm. they can't block I from think... their butt yeah. <laughs> I think um, the sword pop is better for dodging as well because it's less of a predictable jumping arc. It's like uh, jumping's a lot slower you're in the air a long, uh, a long time, so you can't really control your movement. But with this, you can go in like any direction you want. It's quick. You can gain movement again right afterwards. Yeah. And it's much harder to hit someone um, who's hopping around. Like yeah. This, instead of jumping. So yeah, I mean, great. That that's a that's a great observation. Like block jumping. Um, kind of like to what green was saying offers a pretty good uh first style tool against other players when you're fighting them and that's the biggest thing too with swords is yeah pve you fight with swords too and that you can do a lot with that but at the end of the day um i think we all would agree that this game is a pv pve game i know we have safer seas but the whole point of trying to get good with the sword is try to use it against other players so yeah block block jumping is is a big deal um Ooh. And the thing with the sword too is you can use it with other combos like the blunderbuss and the eye of reach and those types of things and it'd still be pretty effective like uh i know i rant and rave about the blunderbuss it's just because i get killed a lot by it i hate that damn gun but uh <laughs> if you're defending your ship man the sword and blunderbuss is like a deadly combination because <laughs> you got the one tap advantage of the blunderbuss and then you have the sword um which can knock people back and all the things that come with that but i don't know i i would say like those are some things maybe you guys weren't aware of like you can't run through somebody so you have to block jump or you have to jump you can do just regular jump but the block jump is such a quick such a quick deal that those people that you're going up against might not be ready for it some more experienced players will be mm -hmm. but uh even to just like uh if you guys want to come over here um i do this i know you guys do this all the time too but um oftentimes like on the I can't believe I got up there then I fell in the water <laughs> oftentimes when you're fighting on a boat and you like might run down here or something and the other crew comes down to, to get you like you can't run past them they kind of block you on the stairs but you can block jump through them to kind of get out of that situation 
and that's another example of why the block jump would be good and then you can use it to get out of um like being trapped on below i've done it so many times to kind of get around uh fighters that way and especially when like you board a boat like the goal isn't to necessarily kill the people sometimes the goal is to just get their anchor down and then wait for your um you know your crew to come bring the ship to like blow holes in them but um i'm trying to think of some other stuff to show the sword i know on a ship that you can cancel your lunge a little bit by grabbing like an object so like if you see like the cannon or i think it does it with harpoon too if you're lunging and you don't want to go through with it you can kind of grab an object that way it works with the the helm i think too yeah it kind of yes. works with all these things anything you can grab really um which Just boarding using the dodge when you first board is a very strong oh oh yeah for do. sure that's a good point especially if someone's guarding it with the blunder sometimes you'll, you can get away from the one blunder you'll still get like backtracked um sometimes but <laughs> We, yeah. we could try to demonstrate. You want to try to demonstrate it? Oh, yeah. gosh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to go to the ferry. <laughs> but I didn't die. Oh, man. I never thought I'd see Isaac at the end of a ladder with a blunderbuss. Oh, there you go. Thank That's you. Perfect, yeah. Thank you for delaying the shot a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me look good, Isaac. All right, you legend. <laughs> <laughs> but in all actuality, I mean, it does work that some, that some, uh, way sometimes. Work, so. Definitely something to consider. But um, yeah, guys, I think uh, I think that kind of covers most of it. The the block jump or the uh, sorry the the sword lunge is probably the biggest question we get, and that is just timing. But if you block first before you do it, even if you don't get it right on cue, you'll be all right um right on the shing noise but if you miss it and you jump too early that's when you don't gain any of that uh, forward momentum so that's kind of the biggest yep. thing to practice and remember i i hold block down the whole time do you guys do that too yeah 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 i'm just i'm holding block the whole time i hold block a lot i need to block people to, yeah, you, oh you oh, oh. we should show the uh the double lunge where you like if you hit a target you guys at full health oh, yeah I, yeah uh, yeah okay so let's let's show this so one uh you know we're talking about the sword obviously we know this but i don't want to talk about it so the block uh if someone has the block up you cannot attack through it with your m1 or your like regular attack on the sword but a lunge they cannot block through at all all right so another thing i want to show you guys is how to do the double lunge or i mean honestly it's not really even a double lunge you can just keep lunging if you keep hitting targets um but often you'll see me hit a target with my lunge and then i'll do another lunge really quickly after that because most people recognize that a lunge has a cooldown and you can't do anything you can't move and you're kind of catching your breath again but the truth is, if you hit a target, like a PvP target or a PvE target, because you can use this on skeletons and, and bosses in the world, uh, you can do a block, jump, and then do another lunge after that. I'm going to demonstrate that for you here. So green, thank you, brother, for, for being our <laughs> guinea pig. Uh, so I'm going to lunge green, I'm going to block, and then I'm going to jump again. And even if he's blocking, you can't block a lunge. So you'll hit him, block, jump again, and then you can do a lunge right again. Right after that. I'm so sorry, Green. I did not mean to kill you. <laughs> Stop bucketing him. I have not changed. I'm the same person, okay? Please. I'm not, it's still me. But um, if they want to demonstrate on me, uh, like, he running to get over here, Deathington. Like, even if you're fighting two people, one of the things that's really... No, no, like, you stand next to me because they're going to lunge us and we're about to die. Oh, yeah. um, one of the cool things about the sword lunge is even if there's two people, maybe you're with your buddy and you guys are blocking, if they do a lunge, they can lunge both of you at the same time. And that... Oh, I thought you were going green. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can't block it. And it's a, it's a really great tool. And then they can you can hit multiple people i mean i've gotten some some multi kills with my lunge at, at times because you can kind of jump in and go through people 
yeah. then another thing that's really cool that just was just demonstrated was a, there's like a knockback with the with the sword lunge so if you use your lunge you can use it to knock people off boats um you guys want to show that real quick i won't do the jump lunge on this one but there's a whole nother level to jump or to the lunging guys that yeah I, we, I, we screw around with but that's like jumping off heights and timing it to lunge people off ladders and stuff but the simplest one would be like say say you board a boat you board a boat and there's a guy in the helm and they don't know that you're there most people will run up and start attacking the person uh or drop the anchor first but really i've seen green i think you did this a lot when we we're doing our hourglass grind like the first thing green does is he just lunges this person right off the boat <laughs> and, they coming. and if you do it like the first thing that you do when you get up like it'll fling him off the boat the boat's carrying that momentum so you're kind of knocking that player out of the fight for a short amount of time uh even yeah. if you don't kill him it's a brutal <laughs> it's really brutal because then they have to find a mermaid and they have to get back back to the boat so yep. that that's something to consider too and then like we were talking about earlier there's like a, a jumping lunge that you can do if you guys want to time this it's a fun thing to practice but like if someone's picking up the anchor someone's picking up the anchor and you time your lunge you can knock them right off the boat like that too now i do that all the time against a lot of players a lot of even skilled players don't super expect it I'll, they're starting to more, I think it feels yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, you'll teach you the community of this, so they're gonna be fully prepared. Damn, bro. <laughs> yeah, leave Kevin alone. Oh, good thing we have the PlayStation users. Make the jumping lunge easier. You got to remember that the sword lunge has a three-second startup timer. So just count to three in your head and make sure that the lunge where you want you will be where you want to be in three seconds. Yeah, so this is what that looks like from this. If you guys want to lunge me, this is what that looks like because it it is something like the thing with Sea of Thieves and especially with season 12 right around the corner we're gonna get new weapons we're gonna get new tools oftentimes um there are creative ways that you can use them and the sword lunge from the top top ropes is is probably one of the most interesting dynamics of the sword lunge because if you use it like man you can't you don't even really ever see what's going on and then you're off the boat which is just it's just crazy it's so jarring or like off the pack the <laughs> can really use, utilize it to defend yourself defend your boat um and all that which is pretty fantastic so let's see we've talked about the damage we've talked about the sword lunge a little bit we talked about the different uses of it um i think the biggest thing is just like mobility too like on a on a boat like this yeah. if you're fighting somebody um because you can sit there and one of the things that you'll see me green isaac practice we're constantly moving around the boat maybe on the edges of the boat yes we do that because we're bored but we're also doing it to just like kind of keep that uh energy of being mobile because one of the biggest things when it comes to the sword and being good with the sword with pvp is mobility like a hundred percent so that's why i combo it with a flintlock because you got the hip fire mm -hmm. so you can like do one of those and then slice and dice slice and dice a man i'm sorry isaac no no that was great it, it's a very quick uh attack it is and it is that, not on their feet you can get them but that's the thing with the sword and yes you can use it with the blunderbuss and yes you can use it with uh with the other weapons but like um when it comes to just thinking of the sword and trying to get good with it you just want to practice it you want to sit there and get used to the movement when you're lunging like constantly practicing the lunge and then eventually uh when you do enough practice it'll just become muscle memory like green was uh pointing out it's three second uh three seconds for the lunge i don't count i just have that feeling i have that timing down it's like muscle memory you got to develop that muscle memory mm -hmm. and you're good to go um but man the sword is such a powerful weapon and see if these if you can kind of master it um 
you become a for formidable opponent. <laughs> mm -hmm. We've had some great sword fights. And you know a good sword user, too. Um, I think, what's one thing that, what, if you guys could give one tip for a sword user, like, hey, I'm new to the PlayStation, or new to the Seas, and uh, I'm coming to you guys, I'm asking you, like, what's the biggest thing you'd give me for, like, a sword? What do you guys think? Honestly, I would say the biggest thing doesn't even have to do with the sword itself, but it's more so learning the movement of the game. Okay. Because once you've got that down, as long as you're evading hits, you can just attack, you know? As long as you're next to someone, you can attack them while evading them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about like, you? Under yeah, Isaac. yeah, understanding the, I mentioned this earlier, but the understanding the attacker priority on if you're hit oh, yeah. by someone else, you can't attack them without. Do you want to block. demonstrate that real quick? Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Isaac brings up a really good thing. So this came in season 10? I think this was season 10. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So they introduced this idea that if you, and it doesn't always work, okay? So this isn't like, sometimes the game glitches, but in a perfect world. <laughs> which is not Sea of Thieves, but it, in, a, in an ideal fun. world, um, what Isaac is saying is if you are getting attacked by a sword, you can't attack them back through their attack. So I'll try to demonstrate that. So Isaac's gonna attack me. I'm gonna try to attack him. Oh, did you do your full combo? Wait, hold on. Uh, let's try that again. You got two hits on you. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Do your do your um full combo because I don't think you did three times, right? I might not have. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's how. Click the third time. Yeah, because yeah, the reason I was able to attack you is you didn't do your three. I third stopped hit. my combo. Yeah. yeah. But there, there you go. I was trying to spam uh, attack on Isaac during that, and I couldn't do it. That's how it's supposed to work, and most of the time it does work that way. Oftentimes, if you're lagging or you're playing with your friend Hippo from Greece. Um, hmm. it doesn't work because of the lag. And so then, <laughs> then it doesn't work. So then, then what you want to do is not try to attack. You just want to block. So if he starts attack, uh, attacking me, the first thing I want to think about is blocking. Then you can like hop behind him and then try to get one or yeah. two hits in. Oh, I have a literal pixel of life. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was looking at Death Knight throw a blunder at me it's honestly what i was about i would and <laughs> greenwood i would <laughs> i got five bombs um should we talk about blunder bomb oh hey that's no reason if you want to do better sword fighting <laughs> just puke at your opponent while you got the sword you could that is actually a, a very valid way to fight in a sword <laughs> actually Eat a couple of worms before you get into a fight and you'll just start puking everywhere. It's a very jarring thing to fight a man that's sitting there puking everywhere, bro. <laughs> Not the teeniest, <laughs> but very effective. It's like, this is a, a good... I'm just going to try to live... Oh, hold on. Let me get some food. I'm going to try to live without attacking if you want to try to attack me. Yeah. I wish you could do duels in Sea of Thieves because uh, that would really help people practice, but... All right, so I'm not going to attack Isaac. I'm just going to try to live while he tries to attack me. So this is utilizing that block jump. Oop. Yeah. <laughs> if I move it around, you can really keep the opponent clueless as to where you are. Oh. There you go. And even then, sometimes you still get killed. Mm -hmm. Are you? I won't buck it out with oh, I was about to say, are you going to buck it myself? Hey, it was a I, I, I bucked you plenty of times before. So another thing too, uh, even in that moment that we were kind of like uh, messing around, one thing to think about too is, oftentimes the goal is just to get out of reach. Oh, thank you, sir. You're very kind. Get out of reach of your opponent so that you can eat food. Uh! Kevin, go! Fatality! <laughs> It's like even if you're like fighting you can utilize the the height of a sloop and blocking 
to uh to eat and that's something that i think just comes with time like knowing when to eat and when to block i, I know specifically i'll play the clip but there's a clip of me going up against four people i have a very short amount of health i think i'm gonna die with one slice um and instead of doing i think i was trying to do a lunge i block for a second and i i think i eat food after that and that's another thing too is like the block can be used to get around and away from your opponent giving you enough time to eat some food so that you're not out of the fight just yet um because again it's 25 percent per slice and you can have multiple people attacking you at the same uh, at the same time so like if we have isaac and green here and they're on the same team again they don't clip inside of each other so then they can stand there and slice me with their sword and then there's two and if i'm not blocking i'm just instantly going to die we call that the sword storm you don't want to find yourself in a sword storm okay nope <laughs> don't you do it deathington <laughs> I, th I think that covers a lot a lot of the sword stuff man i just uh thank you guys for helping me make it this. does another thing to keep in mind is always remember the type of shit you're on if you're on a sloop you got obviously the high high level low level so you do all the jumping and uh maneuvering if you're on Great. a brig it's a little bit more difficult as it's all yeah. in like big flat space on a galleon it's a lot better because you'll have many different ways of getting around and yeah. like avoiding people and even doing ambushes like one person could be chasing you up where the steel is you can jump down to the to the balcony area run for the captain's quarters emerge with the captains and attack people while the others are still looking for you up top yeah no i mean spot on dude it's like and, and that's a whole nother kind of maybe we'll make another video on that but just like a whole nother type of fight when you're going up against somebody on a sloop a brig or a galleon the biggest thing for advice I would give with the sword is once you kind of understand the basics of it, um, you understand the the fighting priority, like the sword priority, uh, first attack priority, you understand the sword lunge, um, and you kind of really familiar with all the blocking and all that. When it comes to PVP and the sword, I would say the biggest thing is mobility. Like you are, you want to stay nimble and you want to stay mobile and the sword is, is the best weapon um, for that because you're just constantly moving around blocking people's swords so you're just trying to stay uh stay alive so maybe we'll make a video on that about like uh, the difference when fighting on different types of boats but i think that covers most of the sword stuff i can't think of anything else that's yeah. in mind yeah well thanks legends for helping me we appreciate it guys if you guys see these on the these legends on the seas make sure to run away because that's what i would do <laughs> uh, 